Hello friends, welcome. In this video now I'm going to work with the reset password. So here we are in the front end. Also I have around the back end here in the localhost 8000. And let's go to the login page, forgot password and let's add the email here, submit. And first we need to show the message that the email has been sent. But if we go to the mytrap.io, here is the email and we have the link. Now, if I click here, we navigate to this URL. And let's me open the backend. So here we have the route for the reset password, the post to the slash reset dash password. And we have the new password controller and the method store, which is going to handle this. So let's open this controller, the store method, inject the request, and here the request accept the token, which is going to be required, the email and the password. So the email is going to come from here, as you can see, we have the email here, the token we have here, and we need also the new password. Okay. And then you can watch the see the other things. Now let's close the backend and let's open the frontend components. And I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to name it a reset password. Okay. And let's say here we set up. Very good. Now in the template, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this form here I have prepared. So let's select all copy and paste it in the template. Let's save this and let's go now inside the routers index.js and I'm going to create a new route for the reset password. Okay, the name is going to be reset password also and the component reset password like this let's save and let's close now this one and what i'm going to do i'm going to open the store because here is going to be all the all the logic for the our project so we have here the get token uh, and the login and the register and logout handle forgot password now let's create the handle reset password uh, let's make it async handle reset password i'm going to name it now here we need the data which we saw in the backend so we need the email token and the password and password confirmation and i'm going to say I need the reset data and first thing let's open this I'm going to assign this out errors with an empty array okay then I'm going to try and catch so let's say try and then catch for the errors if we have any error and the same thing i'm going to say here uh, if error dot response dot status is going to be triple label with uh, four two two I'm going to say uh, this dot auth error is going to be equal with error dot response not reset data but response dot data dot errors like this. 
okay and now here we need to send a post request to the reset password with the data so let's say here let's create a constant for the response which is going to be equal with wait and call the axios post and the url which is slash reset dash password okay and we need the data here which is the reset data okay and why i have done this sorry friends okay now let's come here and i'm going to say after we center let's navigate to the home page or to the login and i think we have here this root push yeah let's copy this then i'm going to show the message in the next video but right now i just i'm going to redirect back to the home page let's save this and now let's go in the reset password and work there and we need to use this handle reset password come here go to the script setup and first let's import the use auth store so this uh, store because we need the handle reset password also let's uh, import the ref from view import a ref from view okay and i'm going to import the route because the use route because we need to have access to this uh, email and also to the token so we can get from the route for that let's say import the use route from the view router and now let's create a constant for the router which is going to be equal with use route and route here okay then let's create a constant for the store out store is going to be equal with the use out store and now uh, we need also to create the form for the input which we have the password and the password confirmation here so let's create that but also we need to add the token and the email as you can see so uh, then we are going to get from the route i'm going to say const form it's going to be equal with a view ref and here we are going to add an object with password which initially is going to be an empty string and also the password confirmation which initially an empty string now for the email i'm going to say route dot query dot email like this and the last one is the token and the token also is going to come from the route about here we need to say params dot token okay so here the route is going from params because we have slash and the token and the email is going to come from the query because we have this question okay i think we are okay with the form now let's go down and inside the input after the id i'm going to add the v model for the 
form.password and the, the second confirmation password I'm going to say the model also here form.password confirmation now when we click on the button I want to use this handle reset password and add the reset data which is the form here here is the data for the password, password confirmation, email and the token. Here we have the form and I'm going to say on submit of this form and let's add the dot prevent here. We're going to use the auth store dot and handle uh, reset password. And inside that we need to add the data which is the form here now let's save and let's try so we say handle reset password we add the form which has this object and then we send a post request and we don't need the response so just for now let's say something like this Let's close this and let's clear the email and let's start from scratch. So refresh, let's inspect the element, go to the console and let's add the test example.com, click submit. If I go to the network, yeah, we have forgot password 200 and we have the status here. We have emailed your password reset link. So this I want to display here but in the next video and now let's go to the mail trap here we have let's click to this reset password uh, yeah we have a password reset not let's go here and open the index not reset password but password reset in here and also we need to add the token because we accept the token now as you can see we have the new password and confirm password and let's inspect the element go to the console ok let's add the new password here I'm going to say 1, 2, 8 the same thing here and let's say reset password and as you can see we are directed back to the home page. Now it's good idea to send to the login page and then let's say test example.com and add the password one to eight. So the new password, I'm going to clear this and say login. And yeah, we are logged in with the new password. Okay, so the good idea is to send this to the slash login and let's try again, let's log out, let's go to the login page and let's say forgot password, add the test example.com, say submit, okay, let's come here and new email is coming let's reset that password i'm going to close this and let's add a new password here go to the network and now i'm going to say password again password let's say reset password and yeah we are directed to the login now and let's add a test example.com and add the password login we are directed back very good now the last thing we need to make is to go to the logout log and let's clear this now if i click here we need to show the message the errors and also that uh, when we send uh, as you can see we have the password field is required because we sent that request but 
when I send the email, I want to show that message here. So we have emailed the start the reset link and also when we in here show the errors and also show the message or redirect back. So that's it going to be in the next video. So see you there. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and see you in the next one. All the best.